Hey everybody, welcome back to V&J Reviews. We're glad to have you with us for this episode. This is Vin. And this is Joe. So on this one, we want to take a look at the fighter that nobody is looking at, and that's Frieza. He's still there. We don't see any characters making a mention of him, but what is he going to do and why is he still left? Joe and I have some thoughts for you. On this episode, basically, we're going to take a look at what are the options for Frieza in the final two minutes of the Tournament of Power, because something has to happen with Frieza. He is not eliminated yet. He's not sitting on the bench. He is on the platform. So at this moment, it is Jiren, Goku, and Frieza. That means something has to go down with Frieza in the final two minutes. What is it going to be? We're not going to say that we know what it's going to be. We're just going to give you the four options that it could possibly be. And these are really the only four plausible options we see. Maybe there's another one out there, and maybe if we don't bring it up, you guys can tell us about it. But these are the four that we came up with. So first... The option that might show up is is that at the end of the day, even though Goku has mastered Ultra Instinct, that the time runs out and Goku and Jiren essentially tie. Even if Goku maybe is stronger than Jiren at this point, or maybe he's not, I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen. But none of them gets eliminated from the platform and zero time hits. And everyone thinks, oh, it's just Jiren and Goku left. It's a tie. It's a tie. What's going to happen? And then, of course, the Grand Priest is going to show reveal to everybody, no, it's actually Goku, Jiren, and Frieza, which means that Team Universe 7 wins because Frieza's been sitting off half dead in the platform somewhere and nobody has paid any attention to him. It's going to give the win to Universe 7 when neither Jiren or Goku can eliminate each other in the final two minutes. That's possibility number one. So our next possibility is the one that I find the most disappointing if this does happen is Frieza tries to attack Jiren and pretty much gets one shot by Jiren and gets taken off the stage. Now, we have seen Frieza actually fight Jiren once already for no apparent reason that I can really tell. I mean, I don't know what Frieza was thinking. I mean, he just seems to have some come to anger for some reason t- towards Jiren. Um, but it didn't make sense to me. It was like, normally Frieza's smarter than this. He wants to get the Super Dragon Balls and has some type of wish... So I don't understand why he would have risked this. Luckily, um, 17 got in the way again and saved Frieza, and he's just out and about. So we'll see if Frieza's anger once again gets to him, and then he gets taken out, because that's the one possibility that could happen. Option number three is an interesting one, and I do believe that I've seen this somewhere, even in our own comments. I'm not sure. Um, I've thought of it myself. I know Joe has brought it up, and so others have as well. So this is out there places. I haven't watched any reviews on this one, but I'm sure there's reviews on it as well. But it's the idea that Goku in his mastered Ultra Instinct form is able to defeat Jiren, but he is tired and worn out. He's out of energy. He basically has to go to his limits of his limits, even in a mastered Ultra Instinct form to beat an unbelievably powerful Jiren, but he does. At the end of the day, he finally takes Jiren off of the platform, but he's done. No energy, he's out. Then Frieza shows up in the final seconds of the tournament and essentially kicks Goku off the platform, meaning that Team Universe 7 wins the Tournament of Power because they're the final ones that are remaining on the platform with Frieza being there. However, Frieza becomes the final fighter on the platform, and the reason he would do that, of course, is because he wants to get the Super Dragon Balls, which is really his ultimate goal and has been the goal the entire time. I mean, goal number Number one is that he would get out of hell and that Goku would wish him out of hell and all that. But even greater than that is that he would get the Super Dragon Balls and he sees that him being the final remaining fighter as the way to do it. It doesn't necessarily mean he's going to get them because I don't think it has to do with that. I think Zeno basically chooses, but Frieza might make that attempt to get them and kick off an energy depleted Goku after Goku eliminates Jiren. And now for the last one that we came up. Once again, this is a pretty popular theory. Um, I've seen it in different spots, is that 
there's a double elimination between Goku and Jiren where basically they both just take each other out and then somehow freezes the one remaining. I mean, either he's dead on the ground and just didn't move this whole time or he could have been hiding and strategically uh, staying away from this whole thing so uh, he was the last survivor. I mean, once again, if we go with the direction of the last person surviving gets the Super Dragon Balls. This really makes sense because we don't know the f real rules on the who gets the Super Dragon Balls at this point. So maybe this will be the way that Frieza is going to be able to get them. And then, once again, this will sort of leave us on a cliffhanger of what's his wish? or And when he makes his wish, what's going to happen next? Because Super's ending. So, I mean, this would be a pretty cool idea if it does happen. And those, so those are our four options. We did have one other one that we didn't really feel was good enough to put on the top four, but it is actually technically an option that could happen. And that would be that Goku, even in his mastered ultra instinct form, is still not able to beat Jiren. He's very close, but he's still not able to defeat him. And Frieza shows up at some point when Jiren is like just not expecting it. And with Frieza's help, somehow Goku and Frieza are able to take Jiren off but basically Goku needed Frieza or Frieza came in unexpectedly or when Jiren's back was turned or somehow ends up actually helping Goku in some way defeat Jiren yeah and I just don't see how that's even possible I mean Frieza is just so weak at this point if Ultra Instinct Goku can't do it I don't even see how Frieza can help so that's why it's sort of not on our list I mean and that was the one that I brought up and Joe brought up another one that we didn't put on the list because we didn't think that it was really plausible either and that is that at some point maybe Frieza ends up helping Goku out and sacrifices himself for Goku so maybe Jiren does some sort of attack like in the final minute that Goku's not expecting that. We're like, oh no, this is going to take him out. And basically Frieza essentially sacrifices himself to keep Goku in it. And and then the fight continues on. So we didn't really feel like those final two were really plausible enough to put in there. Although those are technically options that could happen yeah. along with our first four. So those are really the four that we came up with and the two side notes we don't really see any other options that could happen outside of this. Nope. Maybe there is something we're not thinking of. If there is, go ahead and put that below on the comments. Let us know. Or if you think one of these is the option, which one do you think it's going to be? We're really interested in seeing your thoughts on this. Actually, you know what the worst one I just thought about? Like, he's just side damage. Like, he just so happens a blast hits him and he's out. He, that would be the worst. Basically, he's just sitting there, <laughs> and as they're fighting, he just gets knocked off by the collateral damage, damage that's going on. That would be the worst. That is technically another one. But, <laughs> so I, I guess that fully completes the list then at that point. Point. So <laughs> let us know what your thoughts are below. As always, please like the video. Go ahead and thumbs up the thing and push on the subscribe button. If you have not subscribed already, we've been saying this. We are going to be releasing some really, really well done videos, especially after Super Ends. We're going to put some time into some videos where we look at Dragon Ball Super as a whole. Uh, top characters, top fighting characters, um, the the characters that were the most powerful we're going to look at we're going to look at some of the characters that we think were underused not used well we're going to add some chart additions we have a lot of upcoming episodes after super is done which are going to be really really good ones really fun and um you know big ones you know yeah. so that we're going to put some time into definitely so, some deep dives so you're going to want to be a part of it go ahead and push that subscribe button if you have not already at this point as always we hope you enjoyed this one this is vin and this is joe we will of course see you guys next time